multi lives, multi dimensions, and simultaneous lives. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I want to do this quick little video. It's getting like really, really hot um, out and little um, little gnats and stuff are out and I'm getting all bit up. You see this little spot here, I'm getting attacked. So this will be my last video for today. I've been kind of doing, because of the weather and situation, um, I've just been doing a couple at a time. So I'm gonna do this one. Um, this one talking about like multiple lives, um, multi-dimensions and simultaneous lives. And I just wanna give an experience of this for me, <clears throat> what's been in my experience. Um, I, I, you know, I, I, my kids, right? And so having had uh, my second, right? I was wanting a daughter, right? And not that I don't love my kids, but I was wanting a daughter, right? Because you can relate to a daughter in a different way that you would relate to a son. And I wanted to have that experience, right? However, it been uh, being two boys. <laughs> so um, with that being said, my, it was, and I don't know, so un, like subconsciously, unconsciously, uh, for whatever reason, um, like there was like this deep sorrow within myself to know that it was gonna be a boy because I went and I had the ultrasound. Right. And so after finding out, it was like I, just so much emotion came up within me that I wasn't having a girl. <clears throat> so uh, I do want to say something about that. Right. <clears throat> but I didn't know it at the time. Sorry, my throat has been going through this um, throat chakra clearing over the past couple of days. Um, you know, when we have a child in womb, they feel and they know everything um, because they're within our, ourselves, our being, right? They know everything that's being expressed and things they feel at the emotions, but I didn't know it at the time, right? And so as I was going through it, they were experiencing it, but I didn't realize that they were experiencing it because of course we're not taught that, but that's, it's true, right? And so some people who are taught about it know about it, but a lot of us don't. And so what we're doing and our own awareness, our own emotions, you know, as we're carrying a baby, we're creating that experience and that illusion for them because uh, they're going to be born of that. And so if we can be in awareness uh, while we're pregnant, you know, um, it can help the developing child on a whole different levels. And even Buddhas uh, would talk about that, like being in the womb, you know, the experience of being in the womb. And you can do past life regressions in there. I had a, re a regression into the womb. And this is how I know about it, because when I was in my mother's womb, I didn't want to be in there. It was so much torture, uh, feeling the emotions and the feelings that she was expressing, right? Um, she didn't want to have me, <laughs> right? And so I felt that. And so that was part of me being born backwards. Right. And so that's part of it. But that's not the topic that I want to talk about. I want to talk about multi lives, but it's part of it, you know, because we are inside of a, a being being created from the other side, which is our spirit, our essence, our true essence, um, multiple dimensions, beings, realities all going on at once. Right. And different dimensions and realities. But what I wanted to talk about um, is experience that I, I woke up. Um, it was really interesting because all this time I thought I didn't have a daughter, right? And so I never really thought about the whole multidimensional, um, you know, simultaneous lives, things like that. And then I did an astro journey into another lifetime and I had a daughter, right? And I, and, um, I woke up in the morning. Um, it was like, I don't want to say really it was an astral journey, but I went into, a lot of times I go when I'm sleeping, Right? I asked your journey out. A lot of us do. A lot of us don't remember, though, when we come back in. But I remember a lot of it. That's why I have a lot of my downloads and information, my experiences uh, when I'm out of the body at night. Um, but I went into this reality where I actually had a daughter. And it was like my soul was so at peace. When I woke up in that morning, I was like, oh, I have a daughter. Like It was just this awareness that came over me. And I got to actually spend some time with the daughter. Uh, and I know this sounds weird and crazy, but it's actually true. We have access to all these multidimensional um, lives that we're living simultaneously. Um, and I got to spend, you know, of course, I wasn't a baby, you know, at the point in the time that I went, because 
when we create something, we're also creating these other opportunities for life, right? And so even though I myself in this lifetime, Laura, didn't have a daughter, my other aspect of myself in a lifetime, in another being that was part of me on the timeline had a, a daughter, right? And so I was able to go there, right, and see that. Um, it is kind of like when you have your life review, right? When you're having your life review, they, they see you, they show you your past, right? And this is what they're telling me to, sh to share with you. So you see in your, t your past, your um, life review after you've passed over, you're shown your life this lifetime. You're shown your past lives, and then you're shown what op opportunities are of different lives, right? And that's how we create the opportunity to have a new life, right? But this is, you know, what's going to happen in this scenario if you had gone this direction, this direction, this direction. But it's not that they're not existing. They are existing, right? But they have the opportunity and potential to be. So I have another daughter in another life. It's kind of like that. Um, so you have multiple dimensional lives going on at the same time, same time period framework, but on a different level of awareness. So you have different lives going on. So um, if I didn't get to experience it in this lifetime, I get to experience it in a different lifetime. Even though I'm not there, say my name in that lifetime will be Tamara or something like that or Terry or whatever. But that being had a daughter, whereas in my Laura self, I had a daughter or I had sons, right? So I literally got to jump timelines um, and go and visit. And, you know, although I was there in spirit, I wasn't there in my form because they were. I was observing it. Kind of like the movie um, with the three ghosts and um, the Christmas carols or something like that, where he's going around visiting all these different lives, right? <laughs> and seeing these lives or what could have been. Um, and so it was kind of like that. It was, it was really interesting out of body experience during, during that, where I had jumped timelines and went to have that experience. And so that was able to show me that I had a daughter in a different timeline and that experience and that I had a daughter, right? But that's a part of me. It's an aspect of me. So I had a daughter, which was a very deep relief within myself to know that I had a daughter because I wanted a daughter very much in this lifetime, but I ended up with two sons which is not a bad thing. I just, because if I had a daughter, then I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now because I would be attending to the daughter, but it's a son. So the son is more um, suited for the father, right? And so it gives me time and space to do what I need to do in this lifetime to evolve on this time of myself because we have different patterns and levels of awareness that we are working at on multiple different timelines at one time having the different experiences. And so if I had a daughter, it would keep me from doing what I needed to do in this lifetime, right? And so it's the play of back and forth that we're having, which, each, which is with each and every one of them, if that makes sense, the so multiple timelines, right? And so now that makes sense to me, like before it didn't, and I didn't even really think about it. And so although I was suffering grieving, and now I'm happy <laughs> because I actually have had the daughter in a different lifetime to have that experience for myself to bring that back in and to weave that together at some point in the future, right? Which is awareness of itself um, coming back together, right? And tying up all the ends um, for the experience in of itself, right? And so having that experience and the expression of it was definitely life-changing for me and my own awareness that I was shown and allowed to go and see that life. Um, how that's being expressed and played out to help me with my understanding in this life about the multiple simultaneous lives. So they do happen, right? It's just an expression of form that we're in that we can't see of it. It's actually happening now where we are at the same time on a different timeline. We just can't see it, right? It's the expression of self and its own awareness, which travels through time. All right, hopefully that helps um, as uh, the uh, multiple lives, uh, multi-simultaneous lives happening at the same time. I know people have questions on that, um, and I've seen that, and that was question a question that um, uh, somebody had asked. So I wanted to kind of answer that as well. So all right, well, happy journeys.